Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again for another video. We are back in the garage with a product review, but also a sweet upgrade to our new, uh, new to us Keystone hideout camper. So when we first got the camper, the previous owners told us that the tongue jack, the 3,500 pound jack on the front made by Kori, uh, was no longer working when you tried to press the retract button to get it to come up, which in turn would lower the camper. So we've been having to use the, um, been having to use the actual manual crank to lower that, which is fine, but it's kind of been a pain um, to have to use that when when trying to lower it onto the truck. So what I did is I reached out to Corey to see if they would warranty their product. Um, it wasn't a product that I had ordered, so it wasn't something that they were gonna be able to warranty for me. Um, but I did tell them I would be interested in reviewing one of their products on the channel, um, giving them an honest review and showing their product. And they were willing to send me their new um, jack, which is a 5,000 pound, I don't wanna drop it, 5,000 pound capacity jack that looks a lot like the one on there now, but this is all black, which I think looks really nice and sleek. Um, 5,000 pounds and can ex is rated to show 22 inches of extension. But if you extend this, the next, there's six holes there. Um, it can go all the way up to 31 inches of extension, which is huge. Um, and this jack, um, what they had told me is it has a thicker tube diameter, um, which it is thicker, I can just tell. And um, it also has a thicker inner wall, so it's a little bit stronger. And then it also has um, markings to where you need to stop uh, because this is its lowest point and then there's a marking for its highest point as well. Uh, so we're gonna take this out to the camper and get it installed. And I'm really excited to see how it works, if it's any faster. Um, and just to have both up and down will be quite a blessing. I also wanted to share with you that this is what the front of it looks like on my jack that's on the camper currently. You've got the on off switch, which turns on the light down here to light up your hitch when you're hooking up at night. And then you've got retract, which sucks in the rod and then extension, which pushes it out to raise your camper. So pretty simple um, as far as its function. Um, it comes with just one one wire to hook up to give it power um, and then it's grounded to the frame uh, based on how it's mounted and also has instructions in here as well so pretty simple to install um just has three bolts it's got some multiple mounting holes to hook it to and we'll go ahead and get it hooked up um, it also comes with the manual rod that you can insert into here i don't want to Oh, there we go. You can insert into there uh, to hook onto that nut to lower the jack up and down, lower or raise it if the power does fail or you've run out of battery. So let's go ahead and uh, get the truck hooked on to the camper so I can remove the jack and then we'll go ahead and get this one put back on. But I'm super excited to test this out. All right, so here's the jack that we have on our camper currently you can see it looks just the same but it's all white and it's a 3500 pound jack looks very much the same the um, diameter of the post does seem a little bit thinner uh, but it mounts the same way three bolts right there and then it does have um, an extension foot right there that can come out um, with multiple adjustments as well and let me show you guys it's on currently so you can turn this on you can see that jack come on or the light excuse me and then we can extend it and it extends great but we can't retract it and i've taken this all apart to check if there's any corrosion inside or anything like that and there isn't from what I can tell. So I'm really not sure why it won't work, but we're gonna go ahead and use our manual crank jack here 
right in there uh, to lower this down. Remembering to pick our stabilizer jacks up first before we lower it down or else we would have a lot of trouble because I think we could probably rest the weight of the camper on those because they're hooked to the frame, not like some thin metal like um, some stabilizer jacks are, but I'd rather just go ahead and hook it on the hitch right there and do it safely. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this cranked down and back the truck up a little bit more and get this baby taken off. This is why I so desperately wanted a new jack just because this wouldn't retract because it works and I probably need the workout in all reality but this takes forever I mean fairly efficient for what it is but definitely uh, enjoy the power version a little bit better so we're gonna go ahead and get this baby hooked up to the truck right there and install the new one. Super pumped for that. So first step before you unhook everything is to make sure you unhook the power cable from the jack itself. So go ahead and break that loose. Power cable for our jack. Go ahead and throw this back on so I don't lose it. On. And I'm definitely gonna want to clean those off before I'm done with this since it's got since it's got some corrosion on it. So now we got that cable loose. Go ahead and pull it through. And got that out of the way. So now we can just unhook these bolts right here which might be just, they're not the same size, probably 14s. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and we'll pull this baby out. I did not know these were threaded inserts into the tongue here, so that makes it super easy. You don't even have to put a wrench on the bottom side. So we're just gonna take this off here and we're gonna go ahead and grind up underneath here uh, so that we have a clean mounting surface so that the next jack gets a good ground. All right, so in order to remove the jack from the hole, you had to remove the foot plate there. So you just pull out this pin, kind of like your trailer locking pin, and it just falls out. So there's like six holes on there, um, and then it'll slide right out. And just make sure you align the groove that's in the back with the groove on the cylinder, and it'll slide right back in. So now we can get rid of this baby and put in the new one. pretty clean make good contact so we're gonna leave it right there now we can get the new one thrown back in let's go here's a picture of the foot plate when it's removed from the jack so we had to pull that out so that it this will go through the hole and I got to kick my leveling box out of the way so that I can put it in place all right so we got it on the bolts are started and we have star washers here which it says put the bolt through the lock washer, through the mounting plate, into the star washer. But these don't secure on this, so I don't know why they're there. So I'm not putting them on. But we're going to go ahead and tighten these down. And then it gave us nuts, which the previous one did not have any nuts. But well, I might throw them on the bottom here uh, just for extra security. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and screw these in and then we'll just plug this into the battery and should be good to go. Actually, we're gonna have to wire on a ring terminal here so it can go over the post. But other than that, it should be pretty easy. All right, so now I have gotten the jack installed and tested the wire by just setting it on the terminal, the positive terminal, and making sure it worked. And it does. So now I'm just gonna put a ring terminal on the end. I've gotta cut off the excess wire. I don't know why they give you so much excess. And then I put some heat shrink on there as well to slide over that. So we're gonna go ahead and get that uh, crimped on there and then we'll be done. Super nice. All right, so we've got it wired on and run underneath right there. You can see the black wire. It wasn't long enough to be able to like route it along the frame and then over and up. So I just took a very direct line and zip tied it along the way so it's not in the way but i think it looks pretty sweet and it definitely works so it's pretty exciting and the light comes on super pumped about that and it comes with a nice bag that i can put over that to keep it weather weather tight not have to worry about it getting rain inside so just gonna pick up our workspace and get on with it i'm so excited very thankful to Kori for hooking us up and trusting us to do a good install video of the product and i'm excited to see how it lasts over time i'll have to do an update video after we get some use out of it these next few weeks